Ladies, gentlemen and guests, please stand. Her Excellency, the Right Honourable Dame Cindy Kello, Governor General of New Zealand. Please be seated. Enga mana, enga reo, enga iwi o ngā haue whā tēnei a mihi mahana ki o koutou. Nau mai hara mai ki te whare kāwana i tēnei rā. Kia ora mai tātou katoa. Distinguished guests, it is my pleasure to welcome you to Government House's investiture today. I'd like to specifically acknowledge the Honourable Nanaya Mahuta, Minister of the Crown, the Honourable Priyanka Radhakrishnan, Minister of the Crown, Mr. Andy Costa, Police Commissioner, Mr. Wally Haumaha, Deputy Police Commissioner, Michael Webster, Cabinet Secretary and Clerk of the Executive, Mr. Joe Harawira, Government House Komatua, and Ms. Puhiwahini Tibble, Government House Kuia. Hosting investiture ceremonies is such an extraordinary privilege, and it's one of the most important duties that I perform on behalf of Her Majesty, the Queen of New Zealand. It's important to bring together such an extraordinary group of New Zealanders. You have each brought pride and a greater sense of well-being to Aotearoa through your understanding and your outstanding achievements and service to our communities. On behalf of all New Zealanders, I extend my sincerest thanks to all of you for your contributions. After each recipient is honoured, I invite you all to join with me in congratulating them. Ms. Catriona McLeod will now summon the recipients and read their citations. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of an officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Ms. Fiona Gower of Tuako for services to rural women and governance. Fiona Gower served as National President of Rural Women New Zealand, RWNZ, leading delegations to the Associated Country Women of the World South Pacific Area Conference and the World Conference in Melbourne, representing RWNZ at the United Nations in New York, and helping to lead and implement a restructure from RWNZ Council to a governance board. She was a founder of RWNZ's Waitangaru branch, initiated the Onifero branch, and was elected National Council Councillor for Region 7, working in the environment portfolio. She chairs the New Zealand Landcare Trust Board, 
she established a partnership with NZI and others to expand the NZI RWNZ Business Awards. Ms. Gower has developed quality relationships with government departments and ministries, stakeholders, and other organizations to ensure that RWNZ retains a strong voice. Ms. Fiona Gower, please come forward. Mr. Peter Simpson of Woodend for Services to Education. Peter Simpson was principal of Belfast School in Christchurch for 23 years, working to address well-being and equity issues for children. He was foundation chairperson of Te Motaura School Board of Trustees, guiding the newly built school through all establishment processes and helping during the COVID-19 pandemic. He has been a long-serving member and chairperson on the New Zealand Educational Institute Principals Council and received associate membership for his voluntary service. He was an executive member of the New Zealand Principals Federation, serving as national president, and was an executive member of the Canterbury Principals Association, receiving life membership with both organisations. He's helped organise two successful Australasian Principals Conferences, Mr. Simpson has worked with several innovative programs to further support children in education. Mr. Peter Simpson, please come forward. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mr. Richard Benj of Wellington, for services to arts accessibility. Richard Benj is Executive Director of Arts Access Aotearoa, a not-for-profit organisation that facilitates inclusive access to the arts and cultures for all people, irrespective of disability, age, ethnicity or circumstance. Under his leadership, Arts Access Aotearoa has worked with the disability, mental health and deaf communi communities and the professional arts sector to improve access for deaf and disabled audiences. Arts Access Aotearoa provides a national advisory and advocacy service and works with the Department of Corrections on its arts programs and activities. Mr. Benj has overseen the annual Arts Access Awards and has advocated for strategic investment in the arts and for art as a means to support vulnerable communities. Mr. Richard Benj, please come forward. Ms. Elizabeth Goodwin of Wellington for Services to Education. Elizabeth Goodwin was a parent representative on the National Advisory Committee for Special Education, which steered the foundation of the special education policy. She was a team leader for social change with the Ministry of Social Development. 
She established Connect and Co, aimed to create social change and connect communities, and helped with the Ministry of Education's government disability plan, The Good Start in Life. She worked with IHC New Zealand to develop an online network that supported parents and families with information and resources. This became Afi at Home, a Facebook group started in collaboration with the Ministry of Education, IHC and others, and developed under Ms. Goodwin's leadership. Ms. Elizabeth Goodwin, please come forward. Mr. Venkat Raman of Auckland for services to the Indian community. Venkat Raman has dedicated more than 20 years as editor of Indian Newslink to disseminate current affairs and news to the Indian community and wider migrant communities. He instituted and promoted the Indian Business Awards. He is a founder and member of the governance body of Gandhi Nivas, which provides refuge and counseling to rehabilitate male perpetrators of family violence. He's an advisor for several ethnic communities and actively promotes communities amongst the Indian diaspora. He has been appointed to several police boards. He's developed relationships with political leaders and ensures Indian community concerns are communicated. Mr. Rahman is a founder of St. Mother Teresa Interfaith Committee. Mr. Venkat Rahman, please come forward. Mr. Alan Whiteman of Upper Hutt for services to full bore target rifle shooting. Alan Whiteman has been involved with target rifle shooting as a participant, manager, coach, volunteer, and administrator. He's represented Wellington 20 times at national competitions and was part of the New Zealand team at the Long Range World Championship. He's carried out almost every role with the Upper Hutt Rifle Club now Trentham Rifle Club, over 50 years. He was integral in the reinstating of the Seddon shooting range after it was closed for safety reasons. He has an extensive involvement with the Wellington Rifle Association and the New Zealand Rifle Shooting Team. Mr. Whiteman is a former chair and life member of the National Rifle Association. Mr. Alan Whiteman, please come forward. Your Excellency, to receive the Queen's Service Medal, Mrs. Robin Baldwin of Timaru for services to seniors. Robin Baldwin was community coordinator at the Timaru Senior Citizens Association. She established and ran the Timaru Cozy Homes Project, donating heaters to households in need. She organized a range of events for older people. She set up and chaired the Auraki Positive Aged Forum and active retirement expos in Timaru. She is a member of the Rotary Club of Timaru. 
Mrs Baldwin has been a board or committee member of South Canterbury Neighbourhood Support, Multiple Sclerosis Canterbury, Victim Support, Timaru Transport Committee and My Way Steering Group and South Canterbury Age Friendly Communities Steering Committee. Mrs Robin Baldwin, please come forward. Mrs. Jacinta Kreft of Waikanae for services to youth. Jacinta Kreft helps troubled youth and their families as coordinator of Challenge for Change, or C4C, an early intervention program for youths aged 9 to 13 with moderate to high needs, including depression, low academic results, and low self-esteem, who are matched with trained mentors. Across 18 years, the program has benefited more than 400 young people. Alongside C4C is the Te Afi Parenting Program, which supports the parents of young people in the C4C program. Mrs. Kreft published Feather on the Water, The Journey Journal, and Song from the Rubble, resources for schools and organizations to develop similar mentoring programs. Mrs. Jacinta Kreft, please come forward. Mrs. Gillian Lord of Christ Churches, Christ Church for Services to Genealogy. Gillian Lord has been a member of the Family History Society of New Zealand for more than 45 years. She's held all positions on the executive and is a patron and librarian. She supports people with inquiries around family history and has written articles for the Society's magazine. She and her husband provide the Society with two rooms in their home for research and library purposes. She runs courses on genealogy and has represented the Society at international genealogy conferences. Mrs. Lord is a friend of the Court Theatre and Chair of the Association of Anglican Women Maryvale. Mrs. Gillian Lord, please come forward. Mrs. Gloria McCutcheon of Tapanui for services to the community. Gloria McCutcheon voluntarily teaches English to speakers of other languages as a qualified ESOL teacher. 
She is part of a church group providing welcome boxes to farm workers arriving in West Otago. She's former director of international students at Blue Mountain College in Tapanui. She's a funeral celebrant, oral historian, and founding member of Stepsisters Leisure Marching Team. She organizes the annual Harriet School Craft Week and chairs annual Anzac services. She is vice chairperson of Moa Flat Rural Women. Mrs. McCutcheon is a past chairperson and life member of Harriet Plunkett Society. Mrs. Gloria McCutcheon, please come forward. Mrs. Yvonne O'Dowd of Carterton for services to the community. Yvonne O'Dowd has been a volunteer and parishioner with St. David's Church, Carterton, helping organize sing-alongs with residents of local rest homes. She's helped prepare and deliver food for those going on operations locally with search and rescue. She is a volunteer and former president of the Carterton Food Bank. Mrs. O'Dowd has organized a working bee to make a home wheelchair accessible, liaised with the local fire brigade to install smoke alarms in a family's home, and provided regular food and supplies during the COVID-19 pandemic to seasonal workers from Fiji who had minimal resources. Mrs. Yvonne O'Dowd, please come forward. Your Excellency, the investiture has concluded. New Zealand's honours system is our highest public affirmation of outstanding individual achievement. It reinforces those things that make our society better. Service, manaakitanga, and the pursuit of excellence. To our recipients, it has been a privilege to hear your stories. You have each used your talents and abilities to improve the lives of your fellow New Zealanders. In doing so, you embody the spirit of the Whakatauki. Fire to iti kahurangi, ki te tohu koe mehemanga teitei. Seek the treasure that you value most dearly. If you bow your head, let it be to a lofty mountain. I urge recipients to wear your insignia with pride at every opportunity knowing that you inspire others by your example. On behalf of the Queen of New Zealand and all New Zealanders, I congratulate you on your achievements and I thank you again for your service to our community and to our country. Kia ora, huhi mai tātou katoa. Now you will see on the back of your programme the words to the national anthem in te reo Māori and in English. I now invite you to stand with me and join in singing the anthem. Mm -hmm. 